Good morning. How are you today? If you're here live, please feel free to comment down below and say good day. And if you're here for the replay, please feel welcome to put in a hashtag replay. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to pop them in down below. I'm Linda and I'm in Brisbane, Australia. I'm your trauma recovery coach. Now, in group yesterday, we talked about SMART goals and how to set them, why we set them, and understanding a bit about how we go about what to do with them, okay? Now, in our recovery journey, it's important to set these SMART goals because it builds our confidence up in our ability to achieve things. When we've experienced trauma, it strips us of our ability to know that we can do anything because we feel helpless. We feel we can we can feel hopeless. We can feel um, like nothing ever goes our way. We can feel depressed, anxious. We can feel like it's just too damn hard. Okay, and all of that can be true, but we don't have to live in those emotions. So when we're setting our SMART goals and we're going about looking to achieve them each day, we're going to start to become conscious of what emotions are holding us back from actually stepping into and achieving a goal that we as an adult have set for ourselves. Okay, so we're going to listen to our thoughts. We want to take control of our thoughts and we want to tell our emotions to take a back seat because today... I want to give it a go to achieve this goal, okay? It's not easy. I guarantee you it's not easy. But if we're prepared to put in the effort each day, we can learn to celebrate ourselves. We can learn to celebrate that we did have a go and it doesn't matter how far we got, we had a go. And then if I can encourage myself to have a go today, then I can have a go, then I can encourage myself to have a go tomorrow and we build the experience into us that we can achieve now of course there's going to be days when we fall what we consider to be falling backwards so for me one of my biggest um, achievements was getting out of bed four times in one day <laughs> going up the hallway and sitting at the computer like I, I couldn't talk so sitting at the computer and talking online to other people and the day I did that, I was like, yes, there's hope. So that's why we set the SMART goals, so that over time we begin to understand that there is hope and we have control over what happens. Now, getting back to the bit where we fall backwards, we will fall backwards seemingly because our body also needs the rest. Our brain needs the rest because we're now taking charge of our cognitive function. So we're taking charge of how we move our body, where we move it, what we do, how we go about it, what time we're going to go about it, and everything else. There's so many intricacies and they all apply to us individually. So I want you to be aware that as you set your SMART goals, you may feel like it's too hard to focus on just that one goal. That's okay. All right. That's quite normal to feel that it's too hard, but don't give up, all right? We're going to be your greatest cheer squad and don't give up. And yesterday I gave the example of the simplest thing, which is getting the dishes done every day, okay? And when we set even the simplest goal, we begin to understand, we begin to build an awareness of how hard life has been on the inside for us, Okay. But the thing is, we're an adult now and we know that we can be educated, we can become equipped, and we can experience that we can take hold with both hands of the life that we want to live. We can take hold of it and build ourselves into a life that is fulfilling, it's productive, and we know that even though life will have its ups and downs, so we, we come into an awareness at times of, wow, I feel really great. And then you know that the not so great's coming, but that it, it actually becomes okay. Because then we can say, but that's okay. The good stuff's coming too. All right. 
So we want to keep building this experience into us. We want to become aware of how we're feeling while we set the SMART goal. We want to become aware of how cranky we are. All right. And, you know, sometimes I have been so damn cranky that I just couldn't get up and do the dishes. Or I couldn't consistently have a shower every morning because that's what I wanted to do. Sometimes my body was so broken that I couldn't move it. And I had to accept that today I'm not going to be able to do as much as I did yesterday. But by resting, I'm going to be able to do even more tomorrow. And for me now, I see, in hindsight, I see that played out over and over and over again. And I know that my body does need rest. So some days, if I can't go to gym, then it has to be okay. You know, and the days in the past when I couldn't get out of bed, that has to be okay. There is no use beating myself up because I am doing the absolute best I can today. And then over time, we know that we will continue to build hope into our lives through experiencing that we can take back a whole of our lives. Okay, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. This is day two of our SMART Goals. If you need to watch the SMART Goals video, it's under the Motivational Monday uh, unit. So go into units, scroll down to Motivational Monday and you'll see the SMART Goals video. And set, some, set a SMART Goal this week and go for it. Okay, let's get you back into life one step, one day at a time. All right, blessings and dreams, and I will be live again tomorrow. Bye for now.